Let's try to solve this problem. Solve for x. So let's start with 1. 2 is to 4 is equal to x is to 6. Okay, so we have ratio and proportion. So to solve for x, we simply apply the concept in ratio and proportion that the product of the means should be equal to the product of extremes. So the means here are 4 and x, while the extremes are 2 and 6. So equating the product of the means and extremes, so we have 4 times x equal to the product of the extremes 2 times 6. So we have 4x equal to 2 times 6, that will be 12. And then to solve for this x, we divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x or the constant beside x, which is 4. So canceling out this 4, we can now solve for x equal to 12 divided by 4 or 3. So the value of x is 3. For number 2, we have x is to 5 is equal to 3 is to 7. So likewise, we multiply the extremes x times 7 or 7 times x. Then equate it to the product of the means 5 times 3. So we have 7x is equal to 5 times 3 or 15. So again, to solve for x, we divide both sides by the constant beside the x, 7. So canceling out the 7, x is equal to 15 over 7. For number 3, we have 12 over x is equal to 9 over 8. So, this is also considered a ratio and proportion written in fraction. So, this time, we just apply cross multiplication. So, we equate the cross product of 12 and 8 to the cross product of 9 and x. So, we have 9x is equal to 12 times 8. So, we have 9x equal to 12 times 8. It's equal to 96. And then, solving for x here, we divide both sides by the coefficient or the constant beside x, which is 9. So, we can cancel out this 9. Therefore, x is equal to 96 over 9. But, this 96 over 9 can still be simplified or reduced to lowest term. So, we divide both 96 and 9 by their GCF. So, the GCF of 96 and 9 is obviously 3, right? So, we have 96 divided by 3, that's 32, over 9 divided by 3, that's 3. So, the final answer is 32 over 3. Next, for number 4, we have 3 over 1 and 1 half equal to 5 over x. So, applying cross multiplication, so let's equate the product of 3 and x or 3x. Equate it to the product of 5 and 1 and 1 half. So, we have 5 times 1 and 1 half. So, we have 3x equal to, so let's multiply 5 times 1 and 1 half. So, how do we multiply fractions? So, this 5, let's make it as a fraction by having a denominator of 1. So, 5 is equal to 5 over 1 times 1 and 1 half, so we have a mixed number. So transform this first into improper fraction. So multiply 2 times 1, that's 2. Then add the product to the numerator 1, 2 plus 1, that's 3, over the same denominator of 2. So we have 3x is equal to 5 over 1 times 3 halves. So the rule in multiplication is we just multiply the numerator. So 5 times 3, that's 15, over the product of the denominator, 1 times 2, it's 2. And then, to solve for x now, we divide both sides of the equation by the constant beside x, which is 3. So that we can cancel the 3, x is equal to 15 over 2 divided by 3. Right? So how do we divide fraction? This time, we just copy the first fraction, 15 over 2. Then change the operation to multiplication and then get the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this 3 can be a fraction by having a denominator of 1, right? So getting its reciprocal, interchanging the position of the denominator and the numerator, we have 
reciprocal of 3 over 1 as 1 third. And then, we can multiply now. By the way, we can apply cancellation here. We factor out the 15 as 3 times 5. So, we can cancel out this 3. Okay? So, we are left with 5 over 2 times 1 over 1. Or, if you multiply 5 times 1, that's 5 over 2 times 1, that's 2. So, the final answer is 5 halves. Okay, so now it's your turn to so try to solve this problem and comment your answers.